Uh, congrats to Chase Elliott and the nine team on the win, and it, and to Alan Gustafson on that got on that good call because they had a feeling that rain was coming, came down hard, and that was a good strategy on um, the nine team's part, and they heard the right place at the right time. And congrats to Chase Elliott's fans also on the win and his first win of the year. And Chase being the 11th different winner. And a uh, shout out to Ross Chastain and AJ Allmendinger, both getting top fives. And shout out to one of my favorite drivers, Chase Briscoe in the 14 car, getting his first career top 10 finish in cup and on a road course. And I said, I'd have a feeling if he didn't, wasn't able to win it. I think he'd be able to get a great finish on the road course because he's good on the road courses. So I'm happy about Chase Briscoe getting his first career top 10 finish. And um, happy for the 14 team getting their top 10, first career top 10 finish. And proud to have him as one of my drivers too. And now to um, my, my, my main driver, Austin Dillon. Up and down day. I thought the first part of the race we weren't doing so hot. But and when we were in the top ten there a little bit, like the last part of the second stage, that penalty uh killed us there on the track for uh the I guess whatever, I can't think of the penalty right now, but the penalty we had that had to give us the um, drive through penalty that killed us for possibly a top 10 finish. But um, nonetheless, I, it sucks we didn't get stage points either. But um, all in all, I'm actually uh, thrilled we got a 12th place finish because we have never had a uh, top 15 um, finish on a road course so I, I said earlier well this past week that if they could finish top 15 on a road course that'd be like a win for us and I'd celebrate like a win because we are historically not really great on the road courses my driver isn't but uh, hopefully we'll, we got to go to another road course a few weeks in Sonoma so we better buckle down on that, but um, my next thing I'm focused on as a race fan right now is uh, Coke 600 and um, mile and a half are where we usually do good at for the three team and that's our bread and butter of doing pretty well. Um, I see we're uh, 37 points in front of McDowell for 16th and 70 points in front of Matty D who's 17th so as long as we can get some uh, multiple time winners like um, Martin Truex and uh, Martin Truex and some others and Alex Bowman I mean yeah Martin Truex and Alex Bowman and, and some others get two or more wins we can get a win hopefully we could be safe in the playoffs as long as we don't have any more new winners so um i'm proud to wear this shirt right here as an austin Dillon fan proud to be a fan through his ups and downs and um proud that i'm proud of him for doing well in the xfinity race yesterday so Double duty, 13th, 12th. It's not too bad. Not too shabby of a weekend. But, uh, I'm ready for the Coke 600 next week, and hopefully we could step it up. Um, try to get back at some stage points. And let's try to get a win here before the uh, playoffs begin in Darlington. Yeah, it's a few months away, but I want to win before Darlington. I don't want to be stressed out at Daytona, so 
Um, good luck to AD and um, Coke 600 next week, and good luck to one of my favorite drivers, uh, Chase Briscoe, too. And uh, as usual, let's go Austin Dillon.